Today, I'm going to show you how to transform your image from this to this. Hi guys, this is Emax from Pure Dream Works. Welcome to this training. On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the background of your image and turn it into a stunning composite. Before we proceed, do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep receiving amazing videos from us. So let's dive right into it. So let's start by importing our model to Photoshop, drag and drop. So as you can see, this picture was taken on a white backdrop. So the first thing we're going to do is to cut to cut off the white backdrop and replace it with the backdrop we are using for this tutorial. So there are different ways to achieve this but um, you can decide to use the select subject feature but uh, we are going to use the quick selection tool which is this first tool here. So you click on it and you, you know, drag around the backdrop and then you will notice that the quick selection tool doesn't give you a precise and accurate selection you have to do you have to refine the selection manually so you zoom in if you look at the earrings you notice that the selection was not accurate here so you can refine this by clicking on your polygonal lasso tool you can actually use your lasso tool polygonal lasso or whatever tool you want to use but I would use my polygonal lasso tool. So let's select the polygonal lasso tool and do a quick refining. Make sure your selection is precise. So we are done with the earrings, if you look closely you will notice that um, the rest of the photo is perfect except this part. So let's just quickly fix this part and so yeah we fix that. So let's quickly fix this part. I think this is the last part, this is the last part. So yeah, so we are done with our uh, selection. So you right click, select um, the feather option, you feather it. I like using two for high resolution images like this. So yeah, so that's that. Double click on the background layer, unlock the layer. So this icon here shows that it's locked. So you unlock the layer, then you right click to select so if i don't select inverse so the way the selection is right now this image is selected so if i hit delete it will delete the image so we undo command z select right click select inverse so you invert the selection so instead of selecting the image itself when you select inverse now the background is selected you hit delete and the background is off so yeah, we're done with the complex part of this editing. The next thing for us to do now is to import our background. So, so we import our first background. Yes, so you take your move tool, you drag the background, come here and drop. So we send this background to the back, right? So you hit Command T to transform so we can enlarge the background to fill the whole document so let's enlarge the background let's enlarge the background let's keep enlarging the background till we are satisfied with the size so now this is what we have but guess what it's still looking very unrealistic so first thing first you notice this around the selection and this is as a result of the white background the original image was shot with so in order to get rid of this you hold down your command key hit the icon here to load the selection 
so you right click select your feather remember we 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 used two as our feather radius at the beginning so we'll continue using two for our feather radius so you select two hit ok you right click select inverse and we delete so you would notice that i hit delete twice so you notice that we've gotten rid of it to some extent so let's see before so this is before this is before this is after so we can manage this we can work with this so i would say this picture is already looking good but it doesn't look realistic we can still do more to it so the next thing we're going to do here is to go to filter we're going to blur the background so you go to filter blur gaussian blur click on it then you drag your slider till you are satisfied with what you have so i think we would we'll leave it here for now we can still improve on it as we go on so let's see if we can still you know increase this a bit more so yeah i think I think this is good. I think I like this or this, this or this. So yeah, so I think I like this. I'll I'll leave it here. So this is looking good already. We can decide to leave it here, but we can still make it look more realistic. So let's add, let's create a new layer. You come to your brush tool. So let's sample, let's sample the color of our brush. So you come here, click on it. So we'll pick this color. Yeah, I think I like this. Let's see. Let's see if this works. So let's pick this color. So you brush, just tap on it. Okay. So I think this is too much. Let's undo it. So let's take a darker shade. Darker shade. Okay. So let's reduce our opacity and yeah. So this picture is looking good already um but there's still more we can do to it to make it look a bit more realistic so before we do that let's quickly fix this part so her dress is showing here so let's quickly get rid of it i just want her skin to show we don't want this white showing so let's quickly grab our um clone tool so this is your clone stamp tool so you come here Make sure your opacity is 100, your flow is 100. So you click on it and you fill that area. So yeah, so that has been sorted. So all we have here is just her skin, no cloth showing. Let's quickly add a few more adjustment layers and we'll be done with this. So we'll be going with our color lookup adjustment layer. So click on the color lookup, come here, so my favorite here is the four colors so click on the four colors you notice you know the golden effect so but we don't want this much effect on it so we reduce the opacity till we are satisfied with what we have so we'll go with we'll go with 20. so the difference is not that obvious but if you look closely you see it so the next thing we are going to add is the levels adjustment layer so let's click on the levels adjustment layer you come here levels yes so let's add a bit more contrast to the picture so here you drag this so you leave it somewhere around six or five 
so I think six is perfect. Well, let's take it down to five. Okay, so you come over here, you drag it forward. Yeah, so you add a bit more contrast to the image. So when you toggle, you see the difference. You see the picture is a bit more contrasting now. So let's come over here to this RGB. Let's click the red option. So you come over here and drag it. So what this means is you are adding red to the shadows, shadow areas of the picture. So let's drag the slider. You notice the difference. So you notice the red popping out. So we're not doing much. So I think let's just take it to four. Yeah, so I think I'm fine with four. So let's see what we've gotten before and after, before, after, before, after. So guys, this is our final image. So let's quickly see before and after. So let's go to the top. This is our original image and this is our final result. Voila. So guys, this is how you change the background of your image from the boring background you took the picture with to this. So I'll see you in the next video.